Because limits, like fears, are often just an illusion. Hey guys, Katrina here with Keen Dog. I'm here today with Opie. I'm gonna train him how to run by the bike. So when we train the heel position, we train on the left-hand side. I will train him on the right to run by the bike. So if you're riding with traffic, the bike will be in between your dog and the traffic. So your dog's probably gonna wanna switch to the left. If that's what they've been taught on. And you wanna work on a quiet section of your road with low distractions. And if uh, your dog's been e-collar trained, I would have a leash on and just have it dropped or no leash if your dog is that well trained. So uh, yeah, let's see Opie go through this. So Opie's doing exactly what I thought he would do. He wanted to come to the heel position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lure him over to the other side with some kibble. Opie. Good. And mark it with a good as soon as he gets there. Good. I'm going to walk with the bike a little bit. If he goes to go behind, I will tell him nope and do a little drag with that remote. Good. It is important to continue to mark and reward when your dog stays in the correct position. And you do want to reward on that right side of the bike. So Opie goes to the left. I'm going to say, nope, I'm using that continuous along with a food lure, marking it with a good as soon as he gets back in that proper right position. It's important to turn into your dog. This is going to cut them off and it's going to be harder for them to swing back around you. Where if you go in the opposite direction when you turn, it's a lot easier for them to switch positions. So now that he's sticking better? Good. Um, I'm going to start to ride with him next to me. We're going to take it nice and slow. Good boy. Open. Good. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Good. You can see here that Opie swings around to that left side. So I'm going to stop moving the bike, grab a food lure, use that continuous. He's jumping up on the back tire because he isn't understanding what I want out of him. So I switched my hands to give a bigger arm reach to lure him back to that proper position. If your dog is still not understanding what you want, you can get off your bike and start them all over, utilizing a leash as well to help them out. Currently, Opie is working on a level five on the remote, which goes up to 100. You do not want to increase the level if your dog's not understanding what you want. This is all brand new. The bike is something new. It's something funky. It makes different noises. It doesn't look the same as you walking beside your dog. Now that he's starting to understand it, I'm gonna increase that speed on the bike, have more fun. It's okay for your dog to veer a little bit away from you. It's just really important in the beginning stages of training this to ensure that your dog is staying on that right hand side. When Opie hops over to that right position, I'm marking it with a good, however I'm not treating him anymore because he has demonstrated that he's understanding the side more by running beside us and not switching as often. You wanna delay that reward after he takes a few steps, otherwise your dog's gonna learn, I switch left to right and get a reward. Good boy. 